Let's dance. No. Go lay down. Now. Hi. <laughs>
When's my birthday? <laughs> oh, That's the question. God. We're such a good friend. We don't know each other's birthday. I do know. The 11th of February, 1991. Okay, so that's the challenge to go back because I guessed it at that time. So I, I tried to guess her birthday before and it was either 10, 20, or 30. I know it was like <laughs> one of those. And it was in, uh, it was in Oct October. I guess it wrong one time. Uh, I know it's 89. That's for sure. So that's the, this the year we got the uh, we got the year down. We got the month down. Now it's just the day. Now just the day. It's pretty <clears throat> important. Which is pretty important. Well, I just I I just start you know the gifts. I just do them. <laughs> I, I just do them year round. <laughs> so I'm always good. <laughs> you just um, wait, you just give a gift on the tenth, the tenth, and the twenty, and the third. Okay. You're like, hey, one of them is gonna be correct. Just, Sure, right? sure. <laughs> okay, so I know it's not the 20th. I know it's not the 20th. So it should be either the 10th or the 30th. And I already... It's really funny because actually my, my best, best, best friend from back in the day is one of those dates and I'm the other one, so... And that's why I can never... Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> okay, I don't know. All right, <laughs> All right uh, let's just let's flip, flip the coin. Let's go, flip the coin. I'm, I'm going for the 30th. <gasps> no, I knew it because I I, actually, no, I filled in a form for you in the gym, so I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I was just this was a little tea there. <laughs> okay. <it is. laughs> uh, question four. Let's let's see. For everybody that wants to know how tall this big ass Dutch person is, I am only six four, and he is. No, and you're finessing it up. Oh, I'm she's six four. <laughs> she's only six four. They have no idea how tall. Dutch before, like the women are 6'4 and the men are like 7'20. I'm 5'4 and you're 6'4. Five five yeah, that's, uh, that's a big difference. No, it is. And in centimeters, that's like 1. I'm 165. 65 and 194. What are you doing here? I don't think they met Kyle yet. Okay, so this is the puppy. He's one and a half years old. He's my little baby. He goes everywhere with me since birth. He flies with me, I made him a surface dog, he flies with me, stays in hotels with me, he's literally non-stop by my side. If you would be an animal, which one would you be? I know which one you would be. Break my phone. <laughs> Actually, mine is low. <laughs> Done with the questions. <laughs> okay, so if he would be an animal, he would be a werewolf grizzly bear. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> I cannot explain <laughs> what you would be. So, okay, he has the fierceness of a brisk, of a, of a like a werewolf, I think, and his growl, and um, he has the protectiveness of a grizzly bear. So he's really big. Also, you can turn from a grizzly into a teddy bear. Okay, which animal would I be? So for every mood, she has a different, different <laughs> animal. What the hell am I <laughs> First of all, she's like I call her a monkey um, because sometimes she's she's like very cute. Big shit like, like me. <laughs> also, like she she has four hands instead of two feet and two hands. She has four hands. So you're kind of like all over the place. Like you're very pulsive and very you know. Uh, sometimes a little hilarious in, in, in ways that she she doesn't realize she's funny at that moment, but I think you know it really is a very energetic. So that's the the monkey part, and then we got the tiger part, which is you know I'm not really gonna get into. Um, that's your that's your that's werewolf. The, that's the werewolf part for me, I think. Um, and then she had like a little chick, like a little chick. Is that what you call it, chick? Yeah, like chicks, like. Super cute, and uh, you know, sometimes I come home and she's on the couch. I come home and I'm just really happy uh, to see her, and she's like on her cute, uh, like home outfit, little hot pants, and, she, and yeah, little and candles on, candles and everything. It's a little romantic, and then she's like really cute. So, who's more jealous? I think neither of us is really jealous. 
One of the things that makes us so good and that I did not do in the past is choose someone that is has the same values as me. So I want him to be happy. I, I love him so much that I want him to be happy no matter what. So if that would not be with me, that would still be okay because I just want that person to be happy because I care for that person. So, um, and he has that in return. So you cannot, you really cannot be that much, that jealous. And as well, next to that is that we really do trust each other. Or I mean, I really do trust you. Uh, oh, so you would be, if you would want something different, you would tell me, or you know, we would talk about it and we would work it out. So yeah, that's not really, and we both just really don't give each other the reasons to be jealous. No, oh, true. And, and in the, in the period that we, kept in touch, we always were very open about what we're doing at the time. I, I told her at the beginning of this relationship, like, I really choose to be with you, not to, like, be with other people and just flaunt with you, and we just know so much about each other that, and also, I'm, I'm a very, very sucky liar, I can't lie for shit, like, it, it would be so easy to spot, you know, me lying, I don't, that's why I don't do it a lot, because, just, no, I don't have a poker face. And I'm way too, sometimes I can be a little uh, blunt, is that how you say yeah. it? Like I'm too forward, so straight forward, I, I'll forward. say whatever, whatever is on my mind, so uh, sometimes I need to like censor myself a little bit more and not to like... Not even censor, it's more so to bring something subtle instead of, or, or know when to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like not to, so just not stop. get into details yeah. so much. Like that, yeah, so that's one time. Funny because we we used to be friends for so or we were just such good friends that those type of things were discussed as well like discussed as well so it, we also have mutual friends so we would sit in a group and we would talk about things and I would hear stuff about his single you know his personal single life that back then was fine and normal to hear and I couldn't really you know give a shit about that as in like taking it personal. But now you forget that you're actually in a relationship, so when you talk about shit, it can actually hurt the other person. <laughs> so, that's true, that's true. so it's really funny how we had to like both like adjust to that different status that or different way we're going at right now. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stop this video right now. Okay, so people, please leave your questions below, do the thumbs up, subscribe to this channel because it's brand new. We're gonna share both. I think on our channels and on the Together one, or we're just gonna figure out what we're gonna do. But let us know what else you want to know, and we're gonna take you on trips with us on our daily life. Also, let us know if you would like to see the daily vlogs or weekly vlogs, or you know, just let us know what you think. <laughs>